Jonathan Stewart. I'm the head of search and social media at Review Centre. We're one of the largest consumer review sites in the UK. Uh, and as Kelvin mentioned, I'm here to talk to you today about Panda. Sorry, just go back one. Um, if anyone wants to get in touch with me after this presentation to bounce ideas about Panda, feel free to get in touch uh, either via email or on Twitter. Um, so I'm here today to talk about Panda, how it affected the Review Centre, what we did to try and sort it out, uh, the results that we saw, and I've got a few other random observations that I made along the way. Okay, so how did we get to the point where Google needed Panda? People have been writing crap content for a long time, writing crap content and wrapping AdSense around it and making a, uh, a lot of money off the back of it. But I think over the last couple of years, people have really worked out how to scale it. So you've got the likes of Command Media, uh, Mahalo, who've really taken it to a different level. And we as SEOs kind of got a bit pissed off about that. There are probably lots of people in this room who, who had a dig on Twitter at Mahalo. And Google had to do something about that. So, Panda was Google's attempt to rein in the quality control uh, on their search results. In fact, Amit Singhal, a Google engineer at Google, uh, sorry, an engineer at Google, said it was an algorithmic improvement designed to help people find more high quality sites in search. Um, so Panda initially rolled out on February 24th. That was when it rolled out in the States, and that was a point where we knew we had been affected. Basically, we saw a big drop in our US traffic. And that gave us a bit of, bit of a head start, basically, because we knew at some point it was also going to roll out in the UK. Uh, and it then rolled out in the UK on April the 11th, and since then we've actually seen four iterations of Panda. So now on Panda 2.4, and that was a global rollout in all languages apart from Chinese, Korean, and Japanese, I believe. Uh, and what's interesting about this is that if you look at the intervals between each iteration, it looks like Google are working on, on about a five or six week interval. Um, so when uh, Panda rolled out, search metrics were really on the ball. I think the day after Panda launched, uh, they released a blog post um, talking about all the sites that have been here. Uh, and these, these are screenshots from that blog post. The numbers there and the data, you can ignore those. I think there was one statement that really summed it up. Reviewcenter.com is in absolute numbers the biggest loser. Wowzers. Um, now, <coughs> Someone once told me if you can't find a good quote, just make it up yourself. So I made this up on a train and went down. <laughs> I kind of I kinda believe in this. At this point I could have really sacked in SEO. But I decided to use this opportunity to really get under the skin of Panda. And I think moving forward, it feels like Panda's going to be such a fundamental part of our, uh, Google's algorithm that it's really important for us as SEOs to do all we can to understand how it works. Um, so I think it was Tom Critchlow from Distilled who quite wisely pointed out that um, he thought it was user metric related. So he started to see that, uh, well he noticed that lots of the sites that had been hit by Panda had, had crappy design, uh, had too many ads, had lots of weak content, and um, I'll have to put our hands up, Review Centre kind of fit into some of those baskets. Um, in terms of how it affected us, it was kind of like a site-wide penalty. Um, so we've got lots of different pages on the site and pretty much all of them were affected apart from our forum pages. And this is still something I haven't quite got my head around. Um, because if you look at user metrics on our site, our forum pages have actually got by far the most user metrics. So if Panda was user metric based, then in theory they should be penalized, but they weren't. Uh, in terms of our search terms that were hit, this top graph shows our aggregate Google UK traffic. Uh, the red arrow shows where Panda hit. The next graph shows keywords including the word review, again where Panda hits. We saw a slight drop there, but not a huge drop. And uh, the final one shows keywords excluding the word review. So these were kind of our real big core terms. And again, that's where Panda hit. So it's kind of like, Google knew we were very focused on review content and let us continue to rank for that content, but it gave us a real hard kick in the balls for anything, anything outside of that. Now, we were quite fortunate at Review Centre because in the background, uh, in the run up to Panda being launched, uh, we'd been working on our website design for about the six months leading up to Panda. So when Panda rolled out, we took the opportunity to take a, a step back 
to reevaluate our, our news cycle zone and to read everything that people are saying about Panda and try and roll it up into our new site. So this is, uh, this is our old site design. Uh, I've highlighted in red all the ad slots. Um, I'll be honest, the, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ads in there. I'll be honest, uh, the design's not great. Um, and this is our new site design. Again, I've highlighted ad slots. Um, if we just go back to the old one, pretty much above the fold, all you saw was top navigation and ads. Here we've tried to move more com content above the fold. Um, we've got more, so more prominent social sharing buttons. And we've actually, we've reduced the amount of ads we were serving and moved it much <coughs> further down the page. So we put more content further up. Um, so these were all things that people were talking about when Panda rolled out, saying, you know, this is, this is what you should be doing. Uh, and again, on that page there, we've got more prominent social sharing. Uh, we also know index the whole load of content. So we specifically tried to find content that Google might think 